<laughs> oh, then you would have gotten to go to Sugoi-Khan or gotten the initial D. Then let's see what would have happened if you'd have rolled that again. Which would have gotten the Sugoi-Khan. So we go for triple four. And no, you would have had it. You would have won the board. Oh, but that's okay. Because you're still our champion, which means you get to stay right there and play again. And we need to have another contestant. So Michael, if you would be so kind as to come on up and play again. Michael, if you would please get your microphone, let's welcome Michael to the show. Michael, tell us a little bit about yourself, where you're from, and what you do, sir. Well, I'm uh, I'm a local resident. Uh, going full time, I'm a full time student, creative writing major. Hopefully, trying to go into the sci fi world. Oh, excellent, excellent. And uh, what are your favorite shows? Oh, I'm basically I'm a Mecca fan, but <laughs> I've also enjoyed some of the Magical Girl stuff as well as Bamboo Blade and Pony Pony Dash. Aha! Uh -huh, there you go. I Honey Pony is a personal favorite of mine. I love Shaft shows. And plus, Shin Chan. Yeah, of course, Shin Chan, yes. But I, I love myself some Shaft, so Honey Pony Chan. <laughs> I love myself some Shaft anime series. Sure. Okay. Hey, I love my little pony friendship is magic, so what does that say? It says I'm awesome. <laughs> All right, here we go. We got a brand new game. I will tell you that the prizes, nobody won any of the prizes before, so let's do them again. All right, let me do it properly this time. The triple two, and you will win the large print from Kitty Hawk of the art that was used for the con badge. Triple three, once again, the bean sprite, any bean sprite of your choice, medium or smaller, from Raven Fox at www.ravenfoxstudios.com. And I'm looking at the annotation that we'll be putting on the YouTube video later for you to click on to go to their site. There you go. Okay, go away annotation. Thank you. Yeah. The triple four again is the Hitalia season, uh, part one. And the triple six is the Anime Network three month subscription. All right, here we go. We put a thousand yen in the bank. And let's get started. We need three answers. And three answers to lead off this game are Fancy Lala, Full Moon, or Madoka. And that's Madoka as in Hueli, Madoka, Magica, that, that one. All right, here's the question. You said you like Magical Girls, Michael. You might do okay on this one. Which Magical Girl ages the most when she transforms? Which Magical Girl ages the most when she transforms? Michael's gonna take a shot. This is the first one I'm gonna have to guess at, though. So, Madoka? You're gonna go with Madoka. All right, the correct answer is Fancy Lala. Madoka stays the same age. Full Moon goes from 12 to 16. Fancy Lala goes from 9 to 15. So there you go. That means, Kate, you've got control of the board. Would you like to roll? All right, let's see if you can get some of them prizes you can get the first time around. Oh, oh, oh. Board full of money. Kate, would you like to add 400 yen to the bank? All right, there you go. All right, 1,400 yen in the bank. Now you have one die left, Kate, and Kate is done. All right, just like that, Kate, Michael's give, Michael, Kate's giving you an empty board to play with if you get control. Let's see what happens. <laughs> now, are you going to do the dance if you want to? Here we go. Patamon, Tanemon, or Yokomon? Which Digimon digivolves into Biomon, Birdramon, and Garudamon? Michael? Patamon. Patamon. No. Yokomon. Anyone in the audience Digimon fans? Did you know that one? Yeah! Uh-huh. All right. It's been a while. <laughs> it's been a while. Kate, you've got control again. I assume you're not going to keep it. All right, Michael. You need a one or a five, sir. And that would be none of the above. So right off the bat, Michael, I've got to give you not a re-roll, not a two re-rolls, a strike. There you go. <laughs> no, you cannot have them. You already used yours. All right, we clear the board after Fargo. We'll give you three more answers, and they are Ed, I'm Faye. In Cowboy Bebop, who's male? Kate? Yes, <laughs> I'm is a dog and is male. There you go. Kate, empty board. Do you want to roll them? Let's see if you can clear the board all of them again like you did last time. You didn't, uh, but you did get two scoring opportunities. Would you like to add 150 into the bank? Yes, you would. 15, 15, four screens left. What do you want to do? 
All right, she's gonna roll again. Let's see if we get some prizes. Oh, no prize, almost a prize, but two more scoring opportunities. Another 150 into the bank. All right. I have to ask because strategically you don't have to take all the scoring opportunities because you might want more to get more prizes. But I have found that contestants want to clear as many dice as possible so they can win the game. There are two screens left. Do you want to roll again? No. Okay. Wise choice. Here we go. Mio Mugi Yui. In Kaon, which character plays the bass guitar? Michael. Uh, Mio. Mio. Any Kaon fans in the audience? Yeah. Me too. All right, Michael, you have control. You have two screens. Would you like to pass to Kate, or would you like to take a risk? Pass. <laughs> Good call, Kate. Ones and fives. That's all you can do. There's a five. 1750 in the bank, one more screen. Are you? Yeah, she's done. All right. Kate is very, very lucky. Kate, you would have been my first Farkle Grand Prize winner before, so luck is on your side. Let's see what happens. About 10, about 13, or about 15. Now, if you're paying attention to the math that I was doing earlier in my head, you'll do well on this question. How many American dimes, dimes, would you get for 100 Japanese yen? Kate? At today's exchange rate, about 13 is the right answer. All right, you have control very briefly, I assume. All right, Michael, a one or a five, and you get yourself a re-roll, otherwise it's your second Farkle. Oh, Michael, 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 another Farkle for you, sir. It is just, and I keep wanting to give Kate re-rolls. I can't, no. What are you doing? There you go. Hello. Hello, keyboard. Hello. Okay, we clear the board after that, and I have another question. Michael, control is very important because you need to avoid losing. Here we go. Quickly, Team Four Star are best known for bridging what anime series? Dragon Ball Z, One Piece, or Yu-Gi-Oh? Dragon Ball Z is the right answer. All right. Hey, you have an empty board, and she's going to roll on it. Let's see what happens. Well, they ain't empty anymore. All right, Raven Fox beats Sprite, 150 yen. Would you like it all? Yes, I All right, there we go. You can still win it. Michael, if you get triple threes, it goes on your side of the board as well. And whoever wins the game gets the beat Sprite. So you can still get this. Kate, this is yours. Bam, just like that on your side of the board. One die, you don't want to die. All right, there we go. Three more answers. And this time I'll actually read them first. Leipard, Stoutland, or Watchog. In Pokemon Black and White, what is the final evolved form of Lillipup? <laughs> Michael's gonna take a shot. Watch Stomp, watch, uh, watch Hog. You, you would think, but no, it's Stomp. No. All right, which means, <laughs> Michael, I may be turning this light back over to your side real quick. Kate? Yes, you will. Yes, you will. Okay, Michael, here's the situation. I'm not talking Jersey Shore. Need a one or a five, or else Kate continues on as our Farkle champion. So let's see. Here we go. If you can get it, you get a re-roll. Oh, oh, that is your final strike, which means that our winner once again is Kate. So Michael, you weren't here for very long, but uh, did you have fun in the time that you were here? Yeah, I guess I just... I just had that luck. Well, that's okay. We let's let's give Michael a round of applause. It's like D and D. Sometimes you just roll a one. <laughs> there you go. Unfortunately, this time you didn't roll any ones. That was the problem. Yeah, that was my problem. <laughs> okay, Kate, we give you another 1,900 yen plus. You've earned yourself the bead sprite from uh, Raven Fox Studios. You don't have to go with Mega Man, although why wouldn't you? <laughs> Thank you, Michael. Uh, you are now up to a grand total of 7,450 yen in cash and prizes. And once again, that's yours to keep. Would you like to try to play for another 15,000? Here we go, bonus game yeah. time! <laughs> Yay! Now this is the, this is the excited audience I want. How are you guys enjoying Fargo? Yeah! All right. I, I made this. I designed this game from the ground up. Yeah, I didn't make sparkles, I'm not that old. 
but all right, here we go. Bonus game time for you once again. You've already won 7,450 yen. We can add another 15,000 to that right now, and you could have done it before. Let's see what happens. Uh, you have no re-rolls this time, though, so this time you're risking everything with every single roll. And once again, there's the board configuration. The six is out of play. We want triples, and we want lots of triples, and we want good prizes. Let's load them up and see what you'll be playing for in this bonus game. All right, once again, the triple one will earn you that Oran High School Post Club pencil board that we had in the first game. Two, once again, is your choice of any plushie that we have available. Uh, any additional plushie that you have available. You've already won one, you can get another one. Uh, three, uh, you, can have a, uh, you can have a t-shirt for him for this time around. So there you go. Uh, for four, Triple Four will score you the complete Ragnarok the Animation save version from our friends at Funimation. Actually from, from Funimation, but from our convention chair's pocket. Uh, bought that from rightstuff.com. Triple Five, what are you doing next year around uh, August 24th and 26th? Oh, it'll be your birthday. Well, for your birthday, you could win free admission to MoxerieCon in Columbus, Ohio at the Hyatt at the Hyatt Greater Columbus Convention Center. Now, this year's already happened recently, but they've already got guests announced for this year. They include our very own Chris Kaysen, who is here at, uh, at Subasacon, and a guy that you may know, he voices Italy and Axis Powers Italia, Todd Haberkorn will be there. All right, this is a final prize package worth over 15,000 yen. Because, once again, 5,000 yen if you roll up that straight. And the way your luck is going now, I bet you get a straight on the very first roll and win absolutely everything. You're on. <laughs> All right, here we go, the very first spin. Let's see what you win. Hey, look at there. You're going to MoxeryCon. All right, now. Would you like to risk your badge to MatsuriCon and try to clear that board, or are you satisfied with that badge? I'm going to risk it. She's going to risk it. All right. So Darren wants to win the t-shirt for him. Let's see if you win the t-shirt. We need that or a straight. Let's see what you get. All right. There we go. There is an Oron pencil board in your food future, and now there are only three numbers left in play. Would you like to risk? That is uh, about 3,900 yen in prizes. Would you like to risk that and roll again, or are you set? I'm feeling She's feeling lucky. All right. Oh, all right. Haven't seen any wild cards. Let's see some wild cards. Let's see what you get. There's wild. Oh! How close you were! You were so close. One, two, three, four. If that had been a five, you'd have won everything. Unfortunately, you win nothing on this bonus round. Oh. 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 But you are our perfect champion. You've taken us for 7,450 yen in prizes. See me afterwards, and I will get you the plush. We'll get you the t shirt over from that. Thank you very much for being on the show, Kate that we get cleaned out of here for the next panel to start. What y'all guys think of Anime Farkle? Thank you so much. Uh, we'll have this up on YouTube along with several of my other games. Do me a favor, if you have a smartphone right now, I would like you to like Grego's Game Shows. All right, like Grego's Game Shows. I'm gonna have a very exciting announcement for you real soon because today I got invited to a convention that is fairly close to here and I'd like to see all of you there. I can't tell you what it is yet, but as soon as, if you like me on Facebook, Grego's Game Shows, you'll find out what it is. I also tweet, uh, Grego Game Shows, Gre yeah, that's it, Grego Game Shows on Twitter. Follow me to find out about all of the game shows at conventions all around. In the meantime, that's it for today. Tomorrow, we have Anime Pressure Luck, we got Anime Password, and if you're a fan of My Little Pony, we've got a brony panel for you at 11 o'clock right over there. In the meantime, this is Grego saying thanks for Anime Farkle, and goodbye!